Hello everyone, this is James Shore with another Test Driven Development video. When we left off last time, I was trying to get Llewellyn Falco and Dan Gilkertson's approvals test uh, framework to work as one possible option for testing the feel and the look of the UI. Um, we've got the logic of the UI working in a very simple way. We need to make that more complex, but before we do, I want to pretty it up. It's just not looking the way I want it to. So that's what I'm working on. So when we left off, I was trying to figure out how to write a test around this. And looking at this, it seems really straightforward. Um, I wish there was some API documentation out there. Maybe there is. Let me, but I'm not seeing it. Yeah, I'm. Uh, it. This tool is concerning me a little bit. The documentation is really slim. Um, the last time it was that Llewellyn or whoever maintaining the site talked about it was back in 2009. Seems like they've gone on to other interests in the meantime. Um, so, definitely not a good sign. For using this uh, in the future. But I'm going to go ahead and try it out anyway. It might be exactly what I need. I just, I just don't have a good feeling about this. But, you know, I could be wrong. So let's, let's go ahead and try this. Um, so I guess what I'm going to do is write a little test. It, it has been a while since I worked on this code, over a week, and I'm feeling a little dumb. Let's try that again. I'm forgetting something really obvious here. I know it. Oh, at. <laughs> uh, the bracket notation is how uh, C sharp does it. Downside of working in so many languages. Okay, there we go. Oh, that's interesting. That was picked up by my master test suite, which is not really what I want. I wonder if I should put these spikes in a separate project. I probably should, actually, because I um, really don't want to share libraries and stuff with them. Save that for another day. Okay, so let's see. Yeah, this lack of documentation is going to be a killer. I'm sure it's out there somewhere, but I'm not sure where or how to get access to it. 
So what is this use or uh, reporter attribute? The uh, I'm actually I'm finding the lack of I mean total lack of documentation, not even Javadoc, to be really frustrating. No source. No source, no doc. If I hadn't seen Llewellyn demonstrating this in a, in a uh, session at one of the Agile conferences, I wouldn't even be continuing trying this. Um, yeah, the documentation doesn't match up to the to the actual code, it's documentation such as it is. Hmm. Well, this could be very short-lived spike. When I'm spiking something, I look I look at multiple things. Um, one thing I look at is whether or not it works. Another thing I look at is how clean the design is, but one of the really important things I'm looking at is how well supported the thing I'm trying to use is. Um, if it doesn't have good documentation, uh, if it doesn't, if the documentation doesn't match the code, it really doesn't matter how good the package is. I'm going to spend way too much time trying to figure it out. So we are getting close to the kiss, kiss of death for this, uh, I'm afraid. Which is too bad because I, I want us I want this to work. Um, I like the idea of it, but it's just uh, not looking good. Well, let's try that. I'm not sure what exception it throws, and I wish it was throwing an unchecked exception, but actually it's just it's just throwing an exception. Otherwise. Yeah. Hmm. Not cool. Alright, well let's go ahead and give this a try. Not so it looks like down in the bowels of the approval code it's looking for it's doing some magic. It's trying to figure out something about JUnit. Um, and based on this, it's expecting a different version of JUnit than I'm using. It's expecting it's expecting JUnit 3. Um, Okay, well that's it. I think we are done here. Approvals uh, may or may not work, but it's so poorly documented and so and it's so poorly documented. I can't figure it out. Um, and the obvious things to try didn't work. So I think I'm gonna just have to toss this one. Yeah, uh, it's gone. Clunk. All right. So we'll call that uh, 
a approvals, which didn't work. And um, next we'll be doing it ourselves. We'll spike that one. But uh, we'll come back to that. Okay, so next up would be taking that same swing spike and uh, programmatically testing it in a different way. Uh, rather than rendering it to an image, which is what I was going to do with approvals if I'd been able to get it to work, um, what I want to do is write some code to actually uh, render the screen and then look at, uh, look at the fonts and colors and so forth uh, when I do that. I actually have no idea how to do that. Um, so. This could be interesting. Let's make sure I did that properly. Look test is a terrible name here, but best I can think of. Okay, why isn't this compiling? Oh. I don't understand why this isn't running. Exception, no class found error. Can't find look spike. I don't understand that. Let's try doing it a different way. How odd. I can run the swing swing version, but I can't run the look test version. Is it just not building? Well, I'm lost once again, so I think I'll have to call it a day. Thanks for watching, and I will catch you next time.